Now this device which you see in front of the camera right now is the Asus ROG OC Key. It's the predecessor of the Asus ROG OC panel which was introduced in 2013 with the Maximus 6 Extreme motherboard for the Haswell CPUs. The OC Key came originally with the Rampage 4 Extreme motherboard in 2011 for the Sandy Bridge E CPUs and with the Maximus 5 Extreme motherboard in 2012 for the Ivy Bridge CPUs like the 3770K for example. The OC key goes in between your monitor cable and your graphics card and it provides like an on-screen graphical overlay uh, which you can control with your keyboard to overclock on the fly. Where, and the good thing about the overlay is that it doesn't take any of the system's resources. So uh, uh, you can use the device pretty well when you are really trying to push your CPU to the max on LN2. Uh, when I was pushing my best 3770K on LN2 last year for the single threaded top scores, especially like the SuperPi 1M and 32M, I couldn't use the OC key uh, device at all because I didn't have the correct firmware on this OC key over here for the Maximus 5 Extreme uh, motherboard. So uh, during that session I had to use the Asus AI suite which is a very large pack of different programs and it's quite clumsy. Uh, it's a lot slower to overclock with compared to the OC key but that was my only like solution to go for as I couldn't use the Asus or ROG OC key. And now the topic of this video is about that whole thing the like why I couldn't use the OC key. So as the OC key came originally with two different motherboards the hard thing is that you cannot actually upgrade the firmware of the Rampage 4 Extreme OC key to the Maximus 5 Extreme OC key. Even though as upgrading the firmware of the OC key is heavily advertised in the user guide booklet that comes with those motherboards and even on the Asus ROG website, you cannot find the correct firmware for the Maximus 5 Extreme motherboard at all. It doesn't exist in the support page on the Maximus 5 Extreme at asus.com. You can only find some very weird like OC key plus software listed on the Maximus 5 Extreme uh, support page but you cannot find the actual firmware itself. You can find the correct firmware for the Rampage 4 Extreme which is the version 1.003 and the correct firmware version for the Maximus 5 Extreme is version 1.005. I tried to get this thing like solved, like I really wanted to see like could you actually find the firmware anywhere but I couldn't find it at all. I even made a post about the thing on the hardware bot forums uh, but I couldn't get like a good enough reply to get this whole thing working. So what I did was that I started looking for the Maximus 5 Extreme OC key based on the barcode label that's on this side of the uh, device itself. The easiest one to uh, recognize is the Battlefield 3 version of the Rampage 4 Extreme as it's clearly mentioned over here on the top part of the barcode label. The original Rampage 4 Extreme uh, barcode label and the Maximus 5 Extreme one they don't have any like clear information on the barcode label like for which motherboard the, the OC key device is for. As I looked for those images and I checked like Maximus 5 Extreme uh, review articles, I could find some of the barcode labels of the OC key device used on those articles and I found a similar one on eBay, from Austrian eBay. And I actually took the risk and I ordered that specific OC key device and that was it. That was the correct version and it's on this side of the screen right now over here. I already tested this OC key with my Maximus 5 Extreme and it does have the correct firmware. And this is how the barcode label of the Maximus 5 Extreme OC key looks like. Now, my question to all of you guys is uh, that is there any like IT specialist among my regular viewers? Like could it be possible to extract the firmware information from the OC key device itself 
while it's running. That would be the best solution in this case as we cannot find the OC key firmware anywhere. I think this USB port over here is meant for the firmware uh, upgrade. You don't need to use this USB port over here to control the device with a second keyboard but at least they mentioned that in the uh, actual guide booklet that you should use that port for the firmware upgrade I think. So uh, if there was a way to extract the firmware information from the device itself while it's running I could upload it and share it with all of you guys as if there are some other people among my viewers who are trying these older platforms like regularly it's very likely that you if you are trying those platforms you are going to face this very same issue like if you have let's say like a Maximus 5 Extreme motherboard and you have some random OC key from the second hand market you will face this very same issue and you cannot get the OC key device working but yeah that's a very hard question I already asked Elmore for example and he didn't have any idea at all that could it even be possible or how to even do it so uh, it's pretty unlikely that we could do it but if someone has any idea on how it could be done like any like even thought that what could be the way then please feel free to share your opinion in the comments section down below but that's pretty much it so a pretty short video this time so uh, I just wanted to uh, clear some information about the OC key device itself I will be using it with my very best 3770k CPU when I test it again on LN2 at some point in the very near future because I would like to go for the very interesting four, four and a half minute target barrier in SuperPi 32M and I would like to break the Pi fast stop score as well and maybe try some of the multi-core tests once again like Cinebench R11.5 and R15 for example but yeah that's pretty much it so uh, if you have any ideas about the firmware uh, upgrade then please drop a comment down below this video and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and th thanks for watching one of my videos once again and I'll see you on the next one